Hello and welcome to the Leathercraft Masterclass with me, Phil. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the latest course release and the product produced, which is a leather wrapped box. In the final part of this exciting new course, you'll discover how to complete your leather wrapped box finished with a hidden magnetic closure, a micro raised handle and a lining that doesn't reveal how the handle is attached. You'll get to know how to create a pattern regardless of your box shape, where to thin your leather to prevent bulging, what glues to use for best results and how to apply all the leather pieces together to create that beautiful seamless look. Join thousands of other members and discover one of the pinnacle skills in leather craft and start creating luxury leather wrapped items today. Hi, my name is Philip and this is the Leathercraft Masterclass. Now the video course, The Art of Leather Wrapped Boxes is a two part course that teaches you how to take a wooden box or virtually any material and wrap it in leather. It can be this particular shape, it could be round, it could be square, rectangle, it really doesn't matter because the techniques within the course teach you exactly how to make your own patterns depending on the dimensions of what you're wrapping. So let's take a closer look at the box itself. So this is the box. The base is wood, okay? We call this a wooden carcass in the industry. It's a frame in which you mount the leather around. Now it's called the art of leather wrapped boxes because it's more of an artistic expression to wrap wood in leather. It doesn't really add much to the functionality of the box itself, but it just makes it more luxurious. There's more craftsmanship involved and it just showcases fine leather craft uh, to a really great degree. Now this particular course teaches you how to create a magnetic closure. Okay, it holds together until you physically pull it apart. So that keeps everything nice and secure. So the magnets, as you can see, or as you can't see, are hidden on the inside, okay? So they're underneath the leather and they're not protruding so that you can't see it through the thin leather itself. So this wrap has been done in goat skin, which is a really durable skin to use for wrapping because you need to make it quite thin. There are other alternatives that you can use. Calf skin is good. I'd probably prefer goat skin if possible, uh, but kangaroo skin is another really good one uh, due to its durability and its strength as well. So anything that you can scar down really thin, it's usually gonna be the smaller animals so that you can maintain as much of that grain layer as possible. So if we pull it apart, on the inside, I've changed the coloring up a little bit to give it some more depth uh, to the box. So you can play around with the colors you can use one color overall, you can use two, you can use multiple colors depending on what angle. You can really play around with this and, uh, and make it your own as well. Now, this course does come with a PDF pattern, but the pattern itself is for the box. So it's for the wooden component. So if you want to make your own box and you wanna make it exactly like this and follow along with the course, then you can do that. But you can use virtually any box that you want. The patterns that I use to cut the leather are in fact completely bespoke, okay? So that's the great thing about this course is it really doesn't matter what box you're using. If you follow the techniques, you'll learn how to create your own patterns and then you can use them as many times as you want. Now the key skill involved in this course, stitching is in fact a minimum. It's only featured on the handle itself and you don't have to add a handle. If you want to keep it without the handle and you just want the box and you're gonna be pulling it off with your hands like so, um, the handle is, is purely decorative. It's not like solid leather box making, which is another course that I did, which features box stitching all the way around. This in fact has no stitching on the box. So it is purely a glue in, okay? So it's very important on this that you use the right glue and you use the right glue with the right techniques to get the best strength from it. Now, the technique that's used the most in this is skiving. Now, I know a lot of people are a little bit intimidated by skiving and find that it's a bit of a challenge to do. Most of the time, the vast majority of the time, that comes down to understanding how to sharpen correctly because a beautifully sharpened knife, even in the hands of someone with low experience, is still a joy to use. So of course it takes practice as well, 
but it really does come down to the sharpness and Techniques of the Blade is another course that I produced to teach you how to do that. But this course, even if you find it's a challenge to skive, once you get through it, you will be a completely different craftsman on the other side. When you do skiving like this in the way that I show you in the course, it means that skiving a belt, a watch strap, the edges of wallets, handbags, cases, is gonna be an absolute breeze after this. So it allows you more time to focus on getting really, really accurate skives. And I encourage all my students that watch the course to take as much time as you need to get that perfect skive all the way around. There's no rush in this, it's just taking your time with it. Because when it's done right, you really do get a seamless look all the way around, okay? Because this piece here, this piece here, 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 on the top and underneath, they're all separate pieces. But the idea is you blend them all together in a way that's seamless, in a way that's durable, and is gonna stand the test of time. Because you want something like this to be an heirloom, a keepsake, uh, that can be handed down. So you don't want to create a product that isn't going to last and that's going to be around long after you're gone. Well, that's the idea. So taking a closer look on the inside. So we have here the lid component of it. And as you can see, there's a handle. Now this is a bit of a French style handle. You tend to see this more on briefcases, folio cases and things like that. A little bit more casual than perhaps some of the British style handles. Uh, but this is a raised handle. Normally what would happen is you press this down and these would shoot out to the side and it can lay flat. Okay, so if you're carrying a bag from the underneath rather than the handle, that's one way of doing it, or if you're packing it away. And then when you reach underneath and pull, the sides slide in, hit the stoppers, and then you've got your handle again. On here, it's purely decorative. So I haven't given it that particular functionality. So it stays upright all the time so you don't have to get your fingers underneath because it's a little bit small to do that with. So I've kept it in one arced position so you can get your fingers underneath and lift the lid off. So it just adds interest, a little bit of intrigue to not necessarily a plain box because obviously we've got that beautiful leather on there that really showcases that richness, that color depth and that grain texture. But adding something on here just showcases the skill a little bit more and there is a pattern for this particular handle, okay? So there's a three-part pattern PDF download that you can get to make this particular one. I also made a prototype of another handle, this one here. This is a briefcase handle, more of a British style briefcase handle. This comes from a course on how to make a post handle and all I've done is printed it out at 50% and then used all the dimensions at 50% to create a miniature handle. So you can use that instead if you wish. Now the interesting thing about this handle is on the inside, as you can see, there isn't any marks or anything sticking out where the handle is actually attached. So it's a strong handle, it's going absolutely nowhere, it will be there forever, but there isn't anything visually underneath where you can see where the handle is attached. So that's something that's very important as well and adds to the, the kind of mystery of the box. So this course is now available at leathercraftmastercloth.com, parts one and two, the art of leather wrapped boxes. This is gonna teach you exactly how to make this particular box, but also these skills can be used on many different disciplines within leather craft, so different projects. So you can use the skiving and overlapping on wallets, watch straps, cases, it's virtually limitless. So check out leathercraftmasterclass.com, click the link in the description below, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.